Everybody else joining us today. I'm so excited to be back with you guys. Again, my name is Cody. I am part of the Final Frontier team and this video is going to talk about gate, more specifically tips and tricks for answering prosthetic gate questions, but some other cool tips that can help you across the board. So with that said, let's get into it. The first tip is just to know what gate looks like. So review those lectures on the Final Frontier live course or study bundle. They have a lot of great material for you. Review what it looks like in textbooks, just so that you know what it looks like whenever you're answering gate questions on your practice exams and the actual MPTE. The next tip is to know your levels of amputation. Know what they look like, know how they present. Make sure you watch those lectures on the Final Frontier full live course or study bundle. A lot of good content on those as well as normal gait. I don't have time to get into it in this video, but leave a comment if you would like me to go over it in the future. So this next one is about actually answering the questions on your practice exams and on the MPTE. If they give you a specific plane, sagittal, frontal, or horizontal, make sure that your answer matches which plane they're asking about. So if they show you a picture in the frontal plane, Make sure you look for an answer that matches the answer for frontal plane. If they give you sagittal plane, do the exact same thing. Usually, because it is an entry level exam, they're not going to give you horizontal plane questions, but just be on the lookout because it can come up. So before we get into prosthetic gait deviations, we need to talk about what happens before the patient gets the prosthetic. So these interventions are for limb shaping, for strengthening, reducing swelling, helping that wound heal. All of these things are pertinent information to know before we go into that MPTE, just so that we're not caught off guard whenever they ask a question about it. And whenever we're caring for a patient that has a prosthesis, we need to know which areas to look for that are pressure intolerant areas so those are areas of redness and irritation after they take the prosthesis off. And we should know which areas are good to load on. So make sure that you're reading that information. Make sure you watch the lectures. Again, I can't stress this enough. Make sure you get those mnemonics so that you can remember those for your practice exams and for the NPTE and for the future because those areas are just really important. So the next two things we're going to discuss are mnemonics and quick tips to help you answer those questions quickly and so that you know what you're reading and what you're looking at. So the first thing we're going to talk about is heel whips. This is something that happens during prosthetic gait and so we like to use the mnemonic LIME. So L-I-M-E, L is for lateral whip and that would be internal rotation, so L-I. And then M is medial whip, and that will be external rotation. So you can write lime on that first sheet that they give you whenever you start to take your notes for the MPTE, just so that you have that as a quick reference. You don't have to think about it or picture it in your head. You've got it ready to go. Next thing that usually trips people up and was kind of difficult for me to get while I was studying for the MPTE is the idea of high walls and low walls. So the wall is the container of the prosthetic where the residual limb goes into. Sometimes it can be hot too high, sometimes it can be too low, and that just kind of creates this off balance. And so it seems like their body's shifting out of this thing that's supposed to contain it. So a high wall is equal to tight muscles. That's what we like to say at Final Frontier. That kind of helps you visualize what's going on. So if it's high, they're not able to move as much as they can. So it's kind of pushing into that wall, creating kind of discomfort. So we just like to say that that's equal to tight muscles. So if it's a high wall on the anterior surface, it would be equal to like a tight quadriceps. So it presents very similar to a tight quadriceps muscle. And so similarly on the low walls, so say there's a low lateral wall, that would be the same as a weak glute medius. And so they would be leaning out over the prosthetic, creating that trendelling bird, bird appearance. So it's like they're going out of this container. So just that's like how I like to remember it. So hopefully that helps you. 
another way to help you get those answers correct on your practice exams and the MPTE is to know which phase of GATE they're asking about. This is major. Make sure you highlight which phase of GATE they're asking about and so that your answer matches what they're asking. If they ask you a question about stance phase, they want an answer for stance phase. Similarly, if they ask you swing phase, they want an answer in swing phase. This is huge and it's just one of those critical things that they want you to be reading the question and answering what they ask. You can take that to the bank. Answer the question that's asked and that's for every question, not just gate. All right, Warriors, that is all I had time for today. Comment below what information you want to know about GATE, anything else that you want me to go over about GATE or prosthetic GATE, or any other videos that you want me to cover in the future. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are ready to help you. We want to see you pass. We want to see you on the other side. We can't wait to connect with you and answer all of the questions that you have.